Every Marvel villain appearing in MCU Phase 4 that we know already. Several Marvel villains are appearing in Phase 4 of the MCU, some of which being characters receiving their live-action debut, whereas others are familiar faces viewers will recognize from previous movies. This list is certain to grow longer as time goes on, since there's no word yet on who will be the villain of Thor, Love and Thunder and Spider-Man, Homecoming 3. Phase 3 introduced several major Marvel Comics villains into the MCU. Among the most important villains added in Phase 3 were Hela from Thor, Ragnarok, Dormammu from Doctor Strange, Vulture from Spider-Man, Homecoming, Zemo from Captain America, Civil War and Mysterio from Spider-Man, Far From Home. Other notable inclusions were Eric Killmonger, Man-Ape, a gender-swapped ghost, The Black Order, Shocker, and Executioner. Some of these villains will be back for Phase 4, but they won't be alone. They'll be joined by more iconic villains from the comics. The number of comic book villains in Phase 4 is expected to be great indeed, even though Phase 4 is only said to extend over a period of two years, beginning with Black Widow and ending with Thor, Love and Thunder. This time, Marvel's plan for the MCU is made up of movies and TV shows, as eight shows set in the MCU are coming to Disney's new streaming service, Disney+. So looking at both the movies and the shows, here's every Marvel villain appearing in Phase 4 of the MCU. Taskmaster. The first Phase 4 villain is Taskmaster, a key villain from the comics. The MCU's Taskmaster will be going up against Scarlett Johansson's Natasha Romanoff in Black Widow, but in the comics, he doesn't actually belong in any one character's rogues gallery. Taskmaster is known for his ability to copy the skills of anything he sees, like Hawkeye's archery and Captain America's shield throwing. As for who's hiding behind the mask, the identity of the MCU character is still a carefully guarded secret, but it's definitely not Rachel Weisz. Morbius. Through the Morbius trailer, Sony confirmed that its Marvel movies are part of the MCU. Its second Spider-Man spin-off will center on Jared Leto's Michael Morbius, better known to comic book fans as Morbius the Living Vampire. Morbius, who was created by science rather than by supernatural means, is driven by a thirst for blood. This need has resulted in numerous clashes with his nemesis and occasional ally, Spider-Man. But for his live-action debut, he'll be the protagonist instead of the antagonist. Baron Zemo. Carnage. A release date for Venom 2 hasn't been confirmed, but the assumption is that it will fall into Sony's October 2020 release slot. After a brief appearance in Venom's post-credits scene, Woody Harrelson's serial killer Cletus Cassidy will gain his iconic red symbiote to become Carnage and serve as the main villain of Venom 2. Druig. The synopsis for Marvel's Eternals confirms that the heroes will take on the Deviants in the movie, but one of the Eternals could actually end up serving as either the main or secondary antagonist. Druig, who will be played by Barry Cogan in the MCU, has orchestrated schemes to defeat his own people and become the leader of the Eternals. Even when he's on their side, Druig is typically depicted as an outsider with his own goals and ambitions that tend to conflict with the ideals of his people. Loki. Unless Thanos makes a surprise appearance in a Phase 4 movie, Loki will be the only villain to be included in all four phases of the MCU. Though Loki met his end in Avengers, Infinity War, an alternate timeline version of Loki escaped with the Space Stone in Avengers, Endgame. This version of the character will be headlining his show, Loki, on Disney+. Thank you for watching please do like, comment and subscribe.